On this brief demonstration, I'm going to deploy Windows 7 through a network PXE boot from a Windows 2008 server over to a PC workstation. Plug the PC into the network. So we have our network cable plugged into the switch. This is the PC and this goes to our little Windows 2008 server which actually is a laptop that has been repurposed because the keyboard and the LCD screen are broken. Power on the PC. And then hit F12 when we see on the screen F12 for network boot. Okay, and here are the options. We have onboard network controller, which is our PXE boot. So once you hit that, you get some information here. It's looking for the GUID. Right now it's searching for press F12 for network boot. Press F12. And now we have some choices here. What do we want to do? We want to install Microsoft Windows as opposed to capturing Windows 7. So we are going to select the first option with Microsoft Windows setup. Okay, and as you can see, instantaneously Windows is loading files. Now I could I could have created like an automated unattend file, but that's a little bit more advanced for everybody to do. So if you wanted just the basic deployment option where you just deploy an operating system or an image, uh, this is the choice. Okay. All right. So we're presented some options here. Oh, look at that! Windows 7 with Office 2007. That's another image I created. We're just going to put the basic Windows 7 Professional on there. Okay, and now I'm just going to delete the current partition because it has whatever it's on that I don't want. I want to do a fresh install. We got some activity. Okay, so now we're at the basic Windows 7 Professional setup screen. And again, if we do an unattended file, we could skip all of this. This total process has been about 11 minutes. It works. So in 11 minutes, we deployed Windows 7, and it is done. Windows Deployment Services is good for deploying operating systems.